Okay, three different sizes. You're also going to need two candlesticks, or you can use martini glasses, or dollar store glasses, whatever you prefer. Then you're also going to need this Lazy Susan. Um, I was hoping that this came smaller than six inch, but this is the only one they had at Home Depot. And then you're also going to need, um, I got tile because this was only a couple of cents and it fit perfectly on the Lazy Susan to cover it. Well, you can get wood or plastic, whatever you can find. So this is what I got. Okay, and the first thing Today I'm going to use my glue stick, my glue gun, so it'll dry faster, but you can also use E6000 um, or whatever your favorite industrial glue is. So I'm going to take this, and all you're going to do is glue this to the Lazy Susan. So I just put a little water and then just um, use a sponge and scrubbed it off. So now we're going to take you can use a marker to mark where you're going to glue it but thank goodness the plates that I got helped me uh, cheat with this little with this little middle part. So I'm going to glue this here. And then the other one, I'm going to glue right here. And um, I'd probably just center the middle of this to the center of this. How can you guys see? I don't know. This should have fully dried already. Okay, so here's our lady, Lazy Susan. Here's our Lazy Susan. Okay, and now I need to take this off so I can show you guys. So this is what I'm doing. Because I've already attached all three of these together, all I'm doing is placing it on top of my Lazy Susan. The reflection's kind of bad. Let me do it from this side. So 
So I'm placing it on top of my Lazy Susan and I'm just making sure the bottom circle is centered in the middle of this um, square. Does that make sense? So I'm going to make sure it's not like that. You see, how it, you see how it's not centered? And I'm going to make sure it's not like this. Just make sure this circle part is right in the middle, like so. Now, if you want to, you can build it. If it's easier for you to build it from, you know, the Lazy Susan all the way up, that's fine. But for me, I wanted to put this together first. I, I'm sorry, put this together first and let it dry so it's completely dry. And then I wanted to put this together while this was drying. And then I wanted to attach the two pieces together. Here is the final, um, the final, I don't know what you'd call this, rotating accessory stand. Um, down here I just put some earrings and some bracelets. The good thing about these egg, um, these, these little egg trays, I guess, is that you can put earrings, then we have rings. Um, more earrings, and here go more rings. And then on the top, I have some more rings and um, bracelets. You could add watches here. Um, in the middle here, you could even add bracelets. These are like my little stretchy. Let me see if I... You can even add bracelets in the middle, or if you want to, um, add more rings or earrings. Oops, sorry. I'm just trying to make them look presentable. But anyways, you get the picture. So, this is what mine looks like. Of course, you can always um, spray paint uh, these trays or spray paint the whole stand to match whatever um, decor you have going on in your accessory um, area. So you can spray paint this black or silver. Um, a nice metallic color would be nice, but I am just going with clear because I think clear would look nice with this black and white theme I have going I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to give you guys like a little sneak peek what I have going on because it is a disaster over here, but <laughs> I have like things coming off the wall because I'm like rearranging this whole thing. I need a bigger mirror. Uh, this needs to go up. This needs to be filled. And um, yeah, I need, I'm going to find a home to hang these glasses and I need to cover this, um, this, uh, wooden, this wood, this wood piece. But, um, this is the only nice thing I have going on right now. And I didn't want to delay or hold out any longer, so I wanted to hurry up and get this up, um, and going. So, have fun making, um, your own DIY rotating accessory stand. And uh, I hope this inspires you to be creative and make your own. And um, okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.